Okay, the key in setting the lock is to make sure that obviously the bottle is fits snugly on this bulge. All of your launch tubes have a little black line. That is where the bulge is. That is going to be where your bottles seal. No need for an O-ring since this is built right into the pipe itself. Two things that you can use, flathead screwdriver or a power drill with a flathead attachment, your bottle, cable ties, hose clamp, and the trigger collar. Uh, I suggest before you unwind the string that you get the trigger collar set so that the string's not getting in the way. So the first thing that you want to do, since there is an adapter already glued on, you can't fit the hose clamp over it this way. So you want to slide the hose clamp down first. Then you want to slide the trigger collar down. Then you want to slide your bottle on. And when you're setting this, you want to put it on really firm, possibly even screwing it onto the bulge so that it's down a little bit further than what you're going to have when you're actually launching bottles. Take your hose clamp or your cable tie assembly, slip it down in there, slide the trigger collar up. Make sure that when you put the cable tie assembly in, these heads are pointing inwards around the lip of the bottle. If they are pointing outwards, they won't do any good. So you need to make sure that they're pointing inwards like so. So now, if you're working by yourself, it can be a little tricky, so I suggest getting somebody to help you. Slide the trigger collar up. Put it down on a firm surface such as a table or a bench like this. Slide the hose clamp up. Pull the cable ties and all I'm doing here is I'm pulling down the cable ties down as hard as I can. Notice that the trigger collar is staying on its own. Once you get that, keep pulling down. I like to use a power drill because it goes quicker. You want to cinch the hose clamp up as far as you can. Don't over tighten it with the, ho with the uh, power drill. Then take a flathead screwdriver, either yourself or have somebody else do it, somebody who is strong enough. You want to get this hose clamp as tight as possibly or as tight as possible so that when the bottles are under pressure they aren't pulling the hose clamp up because if it comes up a little bit you're going to start leaking water in here. So notice right now that my trigger collar is loose and it is falling down. That is obviously going to be a problem because you want this to stay on its own. The reason we push the bottle on as tight as we did is so that we can have a little bit of play. So what I do here is I hold the trigger collar up pull up on the bottle, twisting it if needed, just a little bit, and that creates enough friction so that the hose or the uh, trigger collar stays on its own. You should feel a little bit of a snug uh, snap on, if you will, as you pull it up. So as I pull up, it stays. And so when this is finally screwed into the launch base, untie the string, take the string, loop it down underneath the PVC launch base, and when you pull it, it'll pull it down that will release the bottle after it's pressurized. To check and make sure that you have it on there nice and snug, pull it up. You should not be able to pull the bottle off. So right now I'm pulling the bottle this way and the bottom of the tube this way and I'm not getting it to go anywhere. So that tells me that I've got it on nice and snug. So as you're loading bottles on, after you've put water in it, your rocket is made, you're gonna load it. Make sure whoever is loading the launchers that they are pushing this down as snug as possible. If you pull it up and you can't get it up, you gotta push it down further. A little bit more. If it's down too far, you're gonna get this to fall on its own. So again, all you gotta do is take your rocket, pull up a little bit on it, and you're good to go. Hopefully this helps clarify some of the directions.